Alright. How is it going, guys? I'm so glad you're joining me. I hope you got your snacks ready. Get your popcorn. Get your Laffy Taffy. Get your Starburst. Get your sour gummy worms. Whatever you want to eat, get it prepared. Because we're about to start this movie. I haven't read the book, but since I'm writing a young adult contemporary book, Check for that in like a year and a half. <laughs> it's promoting something that's at least a year away, but it's gonna be good. Oh my god, I've been working on it for like the last couple months. It's so good. But since I'm writing in that genre, I think I'm probably gonna check out the book after this. Read the book first, Dylan! It's, no. No. I'm here. We're doing this. I'll read it probably. If the movie's good, I'll read it. But all I know about this movie is from the trailer. It looked good. So, let's watch. <laughs> Why did my burps sound like that? It sounded like a little goat. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really amped. It's a plane ticket. I'm coming to Scotland. Hey, look at Josh stepping up. You already paid for this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. is she gonna break up with him? I had a Google alert set for flights as soon as you decide you want to go to school there. Mm, address like it! Mom. Don't just sit here in awkwardness. Address the situation. I guess I should tell you a little bit about Josh. I could talk to him about anything. Would you rather only drink water for the rest of your life, or you can drink whatever you want, but it has to have a little drop of pee in it? Water. You need pee. Ew. Definitely. No. They didn't want me to feel left out, so they invited me everywhere, <laughs> even on dates. I wasn't going to send the letter or anything. It was just for me. It's I love really this concept. I think that's the reason I'm so excited for this movie is because the concept is great. She writes these letters intending for no one to ever see them, but somehow they get out and they get read by the boys. Kenny from camp, Peter from seventh grade, Lucas from homecoming, John Ambrose from Model UN, and Josh. <laughs> Hook up with Josh. You did what? Wait, wait, he booked a flight. What if it's non-refundable? <laughs> oh, sad. <laughs> I don't think she could feel that about a person. <laughs> All set. That's very funny. She's a bad driver, she's gonna wear a helmet. Cute boots. Thank you so much for your service. Remember Peter, the second non-recipient of one of my love letters? That's this Peter. Jen's Peter. So <laughs> Jen's Peter. <laughs> I'm, so I'm, so I'm like an eight-year-old, I'm sorry, that's I'm funny to me. Peter is the name of a man's... Yeah. Yeah. I'm really trying hard not to get demonetized by saying the word penis. Oh, shit! Did I just see King back? Bach? Is that King? That's King back. <laughs> Dude is like 26. Don't sell him to me as a junior in high school, please. What are you doing here? Did she just put her seatbelt under her armpits? That is not safe driving. Oh, is that is that playing into her character that she's not good in the car? Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. Guy, how is this guy popular? He just feels awkward. He's like Jacob Lautner with less acting ability. Uh, do you think you're gonna be able to make it out of the parking lot, or...? Yeah! Oh, yeah, okay, 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 he's not so bad! You just had, like, one or two moments that are really cringy for me, acting-wise, but it's not terrible. We're fine, so you should just... go. Seriously. Sure! Whatever you say, Cubby. Sure! Hey, uh... <laughs> His voice! Sure! 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 Yeah, I'll go! Sure! Don't hey. worry, girl. No judgment. Hey. Oh, the letters got out! The letters got out! Oh, I love how they didn't show it! Are they gonna do a flashback to Talk it? To you. I appreciate it, but it's never gonna happen. I'm sorry, what? I have cold ah! specs in, in my eyes. Why would you ever put the address on those letters? Uh, what's the logic behind that move? Oh, you were setting yourself up for this. <laughs> Dude doesn't rush to help. Girl passes out in front of him and he's like, yo, what the hell? Can't you fucking stay awake from my talk? If a girl passed out in front of me, I'd be like, oh, yo, like, help protect her head. Watch what he does instead of helping. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 oh,
This is like the best kind of cringe though. It moves the plot forward into some interesting territory, but my god, it makes me cringe. But it's a good cringe, you know? Oh, he's got one too. They all got him. Oh. <laughs> ah! oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Whoa, what's the rationale behind that? <laughs> if you're gonna run away from him anyways, why did you make out with the dude first? You could just run away, you know? My voice is all messed up, cause what the hell? Hey, Lara Jean, you in there? Who's this now? Lucas! Look, I, I didn't mean to barge in on you. Oh, just he's got cool shoes! Yo, date him, he's got cool I shoes. I here and I wanted to make sure you're okay. You know I'm gay, right? I did oh not. no, what the hell? He had the best shoes. I wanted them to date. All right, so one of the five. Cross one of the five off the list. She's now got four options. Really, she's got two options. Just the two guys we've seen so far. You really need to know where my fabric box thing is, okay? Mom gave it to me and it's- The are out. They're out! They're out, girl. Accept it. You know that if you find the box, it's gonna be empty. Why are you so frantic about searching for it? Penny's letter was addressed to the bunks at camp. At least he'll never find out how hard you were crushing after that game of chubby. Oh, Bunny. okay. Ooh. So now we're down to three options. One was returned to sender. So now there's one other letter out there. Hey, Covey. Actually, I, I, I stopped at your house and your sister said that you would probably be here. Look, oh. I just want to be... Yo, if he, he came out and he was like, yo, I'm not interested in you. Thanks for the letter. But then she kissed him and now he's following her. Bro, if this is like unimportant to you and you're not interested in her, you wouldn't stalk her to a cafe. You would just wait till the next day at school and be like, hey, let's resolve this. I'm not into you. Fucking leave me alone. Quit writing letters and mailing them to me. Okay, I'm flattered. I am. No, shut up. You wouldn't be here. If you're like, mm, no, I'm flattered, but I don't know. Then why did you come? Oh, no, stop, stop, stop. I am not the only guy that got a letter. Uh, you know what? I'm liking this guy as an actor. He's doing a good job. There was a moment where I was like, this is some cringe stuff. But I'm liking him as an actor now, man. I spoke wow, too really soon. Think five love letters? Yeah. Damn, Cousin, you're a player. <laughs> Who else did What is the truth? I mean, do you like him? Do you not like him? <laughs> man, what is his deal? Why is he prying for this information if he's not interested in her? I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. One second I like you, another second I'm like, I don't know what your deal is. Mm, yeah, I know you like her. Hey! He's gonna, he's gonna, um, I'm gonna guess the plot right now. He's gonna say, let's pretend to be boyfriend and girlfriend so she doesn't have to tell the guy that dated her sister that she likes him. Hmm? Right? Hey, no, hold on. <laughs> no, we let people think that we were actually together. Oh, for a little while. Yo! Ah! Oh, see, I've been reading way too many young adult contemporary books. I know these plots, man. They're not Jeff Sanderson. So you want to use me as your pawn? You used me as your pawn first when you jumped me? <laughs> yeah, I'm liking this dude. Here, okay, okay. So now I got that one right. I guessed that one right. Now I want to guess the rest of it. I think she's gonna end up with him because he got dumped. He's a good guy who got dumped at the beginning of the film, so the the plot is gonna need to make that up to him in a way. So you know, readers and viewers need to feel good about people that are good people. So he needs some comeuppance, and the other guy dated a mean girl, so he doesn't need a good ending. But I hope, my, my, I'm really hoping that she ends up with the guy that she's gonna pretend to be her boyfriend, because it would go against what you would expect. Yo. Uh, Sanderson, yeah? <laughs> ah, this is good! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. First things first, we need to have a contract so we're on the same page about the rules. <laughs> we need to have a contract? You don't! It's like a little flimsy deal you made. Guy rules? Come on, you really know how to zap the fun out of a situation. That's facts. For example, I don't want you to kiss me anymore. Are you crazy? Two more rules. You have to watch 16 Candles with me because it's a classic. Ah, oh, duh. First rule of Fight Club. What? Are you serious? You've never seen Fight Club? Oh my god. Okay. Ready to watch it. Double. Ah, ah, ah. Boom! First rule of Fight Club. Never talk a...
the DVD fell out of the uh, little case. Uh, also, it's still wrapped. I haven't watched it on DVD. I, I take the rule of Fight Club so seriously that not only do I not talk about Fight Club, I don't watch it. That's how seriously I take Fight Club. Anything else? Oh. I can write your notes. Oh! Every day. Oh! Wait, whoa, 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 what? What? I can write you notes every day? What the fuck are you talking about, bro? You do that? Sure. Why? Mm, mm. I don't understand. See, he rejects her, then she kisses him, and then he's still like, I'm not interested in you. But then like 20 minutes later, he's like, let's pretend to be boyfriend and girlfriend. But that's only because it's a plot to get closer to her. And now he wants to write her love letters and stuff. Why didn't you just, when you got the letter from her, be like, hey, you want to date for real? She would have said yes, probably. But you're coming with me on the ski trip. I'm certain that by the time the ski trip comes around, Peter and I will be ancient history. And that is the only reason I say. Okay. Deal. Well, <laughs> that's not foreshadowing. I'm positive. Slow zoom. I'm positive we're not going to be together then. That's the only reason I will accept this. <laughs> Alright, so she's gonna be faking it with this dude for the next three months at least. That ski trip's gonna be a big event. Plot point thing. Although, why did they write the rules down? Doesn't this girl learn? Stop writing things down for people to find. Hey! Y'all ready? Oh, I know where that dude's from! That's the Karate Kid! What do I have to do to get you to bring me one of these tomorrow? You're driving us again? Yeah, of course. Progress. <laughs> this guy, I don't know, man. I'm falling for this guy. What the hell? Oh, man. This movie's good. I'm enjoying it a lot. Whoa, whoa. Did you see that chandelier? You know how many diamonds are in that thing, probably? Uh, in the curved staircase with the glass and the wood floors. Ah, oh, this place is so rich. You can't lose it, okay? That's my favorite scratchy. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna lose it. <laughs> Why else would you say that unless he's gonna lose it? Let go. Maybe I just Come go back. on. They're so cute. I can't, man. They're too cute together. I need to take a break. All right, I'm back. If you are shipping anybody but these two right here, then you are just wasting your time. Cause this is the this is the couple, man. I am like 83% sure they're the final couple. And I'm glad, man. I'm I started like a hate to love kind of thing. At first I didn't like this guy. I didn't think he was a very good actor, but now he's completely charmed me. I love this dude, man. I don't know what to tell you. Look at that! Oh! Look at that little aquarium thingy! What do you call it? Fish tank. <laughs> That's so expensive, man. Uh -oh. So awkward. Can I get you anything? Like a juice box or chocolate milk? You know, actually. <laughs> I'll take a chocolate milk. That's that's the perfect response. Yeah, I'll take a chocolate milk. That sounds delightful. Hey. Boom. Hey. Hey. I yeah, see, I was hoping this guy would come back in the folds. There's nice kicks. He's out of the running to be one of her loves. In fact, oh, that's another big plot point. We're going to get to the, the fifth guy. We haven't met that fifth guy yet. But there's an abundance of guys, and now that this guy's not a romantic potential partner, make him a friend. Oh, she's gonna he's gonna turn her down. He's gonna turn her down. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I is knew this it. hers? I knew it. Come on, give it back. No, I'm gonna keep it for a while, okay? Oh no, what a Oh sense. no, bro! Oh, <laughs> I thought he was gonna be the good guy and reject her. But no, she's gonna walk out with the scrunchie. That was the whole thing before. Better not lose that. Nasty. Oh, no. Like that day in school when she was being a complete bitch about your shoes. I mean, I couldn't say anything because we were together and... You let her insult someone else because you're together with her? You are whipped. Bro, you couldn't say anything? Because why? She wouldn't put out then? Matt, you gotta grow a pair. She wears the pants, huh? Look, Jen's gorgeous, but you have way better style. Thank you. Jen's gorgeous, but your style is dope. <laughs> that is the definition of a backhanded compliment. She's good looking, but you, uh, you got some cool shoes. <laughs> Why haven't you ever had a boyfriend? Because the more people that you let into your life, um, the more that can just walk right out. Like <laughs> I didn't 
didn't know we were doing the emotional stuff right now. Man, you hit me with that one. Uh, did you know that uh, my dad left us? Yeah. Uh, not that it is anywhere near the same no, thing. No, it's totally fine. I connecting! Like, it's sad, but they're connecting. You say that you're scared of commitment and relationships, but you don't seem to be afraid to be with me. Well, there's no there's reason to be. Yeah. Because we're just pretending. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Of course. Large. Oh, oh, he's so hurt. You can't just ignore no, we, me. We can't. We can't talk. Sorry. Dude, I feel so bad for him. So I was talking to Jen. So what? You don't even post about us on your Instagram. Yeah, because I don't want my sister <laughs> to see. Is that what they're? Is that what he's hyped up about? You don't even put me on your Instagram, huh? What? You ain't not gonna pop tag me? When, are we even dating? I cannot believe that you're trying to break up with me before the ski trip. That's in the contract. You're just trying to pull out because you're scared. What do I have to be scared about? <sighs> There's a pull out joke there and I missed it. Let's go back and do it again. Let's pretend this is our first time. Trying to break up with me before the ski trip. You're just trying to pull out because you're scared. <laughs> Bro, you should pull out if you're scared. A pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't worth rewinding for. What bad. I have to you know, I'm gonna go sit with Chris. Chris, come on, look at her, she's sleeping. You know, don't want her to go swallowing her tongue or anything. That's a legitimate fear of mine. Sleeping and you swallow your tongue and choke to death. Oh. Can you help me convince LJ to come ski with us? Well, I have created face masks. <laughs> so you guys have been faking it this entire time? Well, I just know that homeboy likes you. I mean, I can tell by the way he looks at you. Okay, how does he look at me? Like this. Hey, girl. <laughs> He's still it's very so inter obs interesting directional style. I'll say that. I do pay attention to a lot of the directing. However, I don't speak on it a bunch because uh, this video is just supposed to be something fun. I'm not trying to actually like do a breakdown review, but shot I've noticed a lot of shots like this. They're wider shots. The director will stick on something like this for a long period of the conversation. It's many, many times, and it's sometimes even wider than this, and the, the subjects are even smaller in the frame. It's a very interesting directional choice. Look. But also, the, there's a lot of symmetry in this shot as well. One lamp in the center, and then everything else is symmetrical with the, the beds, the same sheets, and then the one thing on the Every wall. guy. Let's look at the facts, shall we? The whole fake relationship was his idea. You came up with the no kissing rule, and you're the one who keeps trying to break up with them. If there's anyone who stupidly fell for somebody who doesn't like them back, it's not you. Speak some knowledge. I knew I liked this guy. You think he's waiting for me in the hot tub? <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, he's gonna. She's gonna go out there and she's gonna see the girl with her scrunchie in her hair. Oh, he's so sad. How can he be that sad in a hot tub? Well, shouldn't you be thanking me that you got to sit next to who you actually want? To know? Someone who has such good grades can be so dense sometimes. What? Yeah, I wanted to sit next to you. I even packed the snacks. I asked Kitty where to find those uh, those yogurt drinks you like so much. Korean grocery store is all the way across town. Yeah, I know. So if I went all the way across town to get you something that you like, then that means... <laughs> they make it seem like it was such a journey. I went all the way across town. It's like 10 minutes in my car. That's 10 minutes of gas. That's like 55 cents. Spent 55 cents for you. And you don't even appreciate it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This lighting is perfect for a kiss scene. All this blue on his face is the perfect setting. Yup, yup, get it. Did I call it or did I call it? Let's forget about the scrunchy thing. <laughs> I didn't get that right. Well, let's just ignore that. Now they might get it on. Oh, the scrunchy thing. That's coming back, isn't it? <laughs> Is she really going to bed with the face full of makeup? She's got lipstick on. I'm not a makeup master, so I don't know if she's got like a bunch on, but it kind of looks like she's wearing a good amount of makeup to bed. Isn't that bad for your skin and stuff? Pretty sure she's got fake lashes on too. You can't sleep with those, right? I think it's so cool that you came out on the ski trip. Hope you had fun. Wait, that was the whole ski trip? I thought there was gonna be so much more happening in there. That's... Gee, 
and like a lot of girls would be pretty weirded out by their boyfriend sleeping in someone else's room. But and doesn't your hair always get so great? Scrunchy. Are you it like three hours on the bus? Scrunchy. Where did you get that? Oh, Peter gave this to me. Isn't it so cute? I love the colors in it. Did you go to Jen's room last night? Uh, yeah, but it, I... And you gave her my favorite scrunchie? This is over. Okay, no. okay. I'm cringing a little bit now. This could have been way better executed than how it was. The reveal, kind of weak, and they're doing the reveal outside of school. You were just on the ski trip. Do the cool stuff there, and then have her find out like, in a way that's not just being told to her. Let her see some shit. Let her get suspicious. Let... I don't know, man. This part's weak. Never possible. Nothing happened between me and Jen last night. No, what happened was that you went to her room in the first place. Jen and I dated for a long time. Be those feelings aren't just gonna go away. I mean, we have history. I'm tired of being... Ah, I thought he was gonna... <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a happenstance thing. Like, oh, I got locked out of my room and I had nowhere to sleep kind of thing. And I didn't want to put that pressure on you. I thought that's where it was going to go. But he went over there willingly. Okay, look, I... Peter, I just leave. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You see that dude in the background? That's Jack and Josh, whatever his name this. is. She asked you to leave, buddy. John. Josh, I'm fine. Josh. Go back inside. No, it's all right. With me. You still in love with this Bonnie Vare wannabe? If Laura ah! G broke up, then she's too good for you. You're in love ah! with Josh? Ah! Morgan, ah! no. Where's the fifth guy? I could have swore he was gonna come in, at least to be comedic relief or something. Where's the fifth dude? What if she ends up with him? <laughs> 20 minutes left of the movie, she ends up with the guy he doesn't come in until the very, very end. That'd be so awesome. Look what happened when you were gone. I, I made a sex tape and I haven't even had sex. <laughs> An anonymously emailed Instagram to have them take the videos down under child pornography laws. I couldn't believe I had inadvertently dabbled in porn before I lost my virginity. You're officially- uh, It feels like they're trying to blow issues out of proportion. I made a sex tape, you kissed a guy. I was in a porno, you kissed a guy. You gonna do something about this? Hey everyone, listen up! If I hear anybody talking about Lara Jean or that video, I'm gonna kick all of your asses. <laughs> That's just gonna make them talk about it more. I'm gonna kick all of your asses. Oh really, one on 80? You're gonna take on 80 people and you're gonna win? Good luck, bro. I know you posted that video. Mm, nope. You kissed the boy that I liked. Jen, you guys were broken up. No, 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 before, before we even dated. It was spin the bottle, you psycho, and it was tongueless. Okay, well it wasn't tongueless to me. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you talking about? It wasn't tongueless to me. God, why is this movie unraveling? Everyone was so impressed by your presentation and lit. But especially me. I love having a smarty pants fake girlfriend. You're just gonna read them out loud for everybody? Aren't they kind of intimate? Would you really read those out loud? Do a voiceover here. You know, I, there's some odd directional choices that the director's making. Voiceover would be perfect here. The dude's voice reading his notes to her. <laughs> nice park job. <laughs> See, I like this shot. Hey. That's cool. Dear Peter, I need you to know that... I need you to know that I like you, Peter Kavinsky. And not in a fake way. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't I get this issue? Well, I'll... That's what you wrote down? I thought you had this immense love letter prepared. That's what you've been doing all your life is writing and fantasizing. I would expect something a little bit more grandiose, but instead, I'd like you. Not in a fake way. <laughs> Did you really have to write that down? Because I'm in love with you, Arch. Oh! Um. See, he dropped love. She dropped like. She's like, I like you. And he's like, yo, I love you. He's just continually one-upping her. I like this dude. I knew it! I knew I mmm I mmm mm, I was waiting for this fifth man to come aboard. And here he is. I said before, like use him as comedic relief. And now it's the button for the movie. For you! I smell a sequel! All right, all right, all right. I thought the acting was good. I think that this source material the book oh what is in my eye <laughs> it's not a tear no i'm not i'm not crying because the the fifth dude never got a shot i feel like you can make a whole book or a movie about the fifth guy 
and like he has got like a really intense relationship but then he gets this love letter from a girl he liked before in the past at that UN camp or whatever like that's a whole story you can make a sequel uh, it wouldn't be a sequel it'd be a spin-off where you get the story from his side and then he shows up and she's dating another one of the guys oh that would be so good that's the I don't want a sequel I want a spin-off Tell me that guy's story. First half of the movie charmed me. I was really into it. I noticed that the budget on this movie is really, really small. Even when they went to like extravagant locations like the ski trip, why did they go there? Because they just shot inside like the entire time. If you're gonna go on a ski trip, shoot some outdoor stuff on the hills, on the slopes. And then everything else was in the house or at the school, inside of the school. So budget on this was really, really minimal. You know that old line, show, don't tell? Well, I felt like we were just getting information told to us rather than seeing it for ourselves, you know? The ex-best friend was just like, oh yeah, he stayed in my room last night. Why don't you show us that? Overall, this was above average though. I was very charmed in the first half of the movie. The couple, I mean, I bought into it. I didn't think they were gonna be the main couple. I like that about the movie. The last half an hour could have been executed better. But all in all, it was a mostly enjoyable watch. Favorite scene though was this one for sure. What? You know, scary? Yeah. The more people that you let into your life, um, the more that can just walk right out. When they got really real, that's when the movie felt the most authentic to me. Uh. Toes, I was just looking at my toes again. I don't know, I just, whenever I finish one of these videos, I always check my toes because for some reason when I watch bad movies, my toes just look sadder. I don't really know how to put it, but you just look at them and you're like, oh, those are sad toes. But then I watch a good movie and my toes look normal. And right now they're mostly normal. There's a little, there's slight discoloration of sadness, but mostly I think they're fine. Go back and watch this one. Watch Insatiable. That was the video I did last week, and that was awful. Find out why I thought that by clicking that video. And then there is uh, something. I really pitched that well. Go watch it. It's something. I absolutely love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.